I'm Rachel with Raza, and today I'm going to go over the major differences between Raza 1.x and Raza 2.x. So if you've watched the masterclass and you're wondering what the differences are between the version that we discussed there and the current version of Raza, this is the video for you. The biggest difference between Raza 1.x and 2.x is the way that we handle uh, our dialogue policies. So as of Raza 2.0, all of the dialogue policies that have some sort of rule structure, so you always know what they're going to do and they're always going to do the same thing, are bundled together in a single policy called the rule policy. So your config file won't have a separate memoization policy or fallback policy or form policy. It will all be contained in this single policy. So it should be a little bit easier to remember. Another big difference between Raza 1.x and 2.x is the way that we handle forms. So previously, if you had a form that was collecting some pieces of information, you needed to run an action server to run that form, even if the only thing it was doing was affecting what would happen in the dialogue. We've since moved forms out of the SDK and into Raza open source. This means that you don't need to run a separate action server to have a form running if all you're doing is collecting information in it. So this should make it a little bit easier to get started with simple assistance and make your deployments a little bit more streamlined. Another big difference is that we have transitioned from a markdown tray data training format to a YAML tra data training format. If you already have your data set up in markdown, we have some scripts that will help you migrate from markdown to YAML. Another big change, and this is one that a lot of people have asked for is when you have a response selector, so something like chit chat or FAQs where um, you don't necessarily want to provide training examples of all the different flavors of things that people could say, but sort of the general, okay, they're asking a question, here's the way that you answer it, deal with the question, and now we're going to get back into the flow of the dialogue. Um, those response selectors are now capable of doing more than just text. So previously, you could only have a flat text response. Now you can have buttons, you can have images, you can have any sort of rich input that you could have with any other type of response. Another change that we've made, and this should make your life much easier when you're getting started with a Raza Assistant, is you no longer have to specify a config file. So one will be provided with sort of reasonable defaults for most situations, uh, and you don't need to actually mess with it beyond perhaps changing the language uh, until you're really ready to fine tune your model a little bit. So it should make it a little bit quicker to get started with Raza. Also making it easier to get started with Raza, we have a new Raza playground. So this lives in our docs and it lets you build and modify and train a Raza assistant right in your web browser without having to download or install anything, just to get a sense of how it works and get started with your project. Once your assistant has been trained, you can download your project and continue working locally if you like, uh, but we hope that this will make it a little bit easier to, to kick off your Raza journey. There's also a lot of other sort of smaller fixes, so now you can use regular expressions for entity extraction. Um, if you have entities that are in a role or a group, for example, you have places that are destinations and places that are the place that people are coming from. Um, you can have a destination versus somebody, a place that somebody's coming from influence the dialogue a little bit differently. Um, if you have a really long domain file, you can split it into multiple files to make it easier to keep track of. Uh, we're offering model checkpointing for Diet and TED. So these are two models that we've developed at Raza. Diet for uh, entity extraction and intent classification and TED for your dialogue policy. Um, if you are using Jupyter to you know, uh, experiment with your assistants, there you can now have a custom action server uh, running in a Jupyter notebook. So it's something that we've added. Um, we support Python 3.8 with Raza 2.0, not Raza 1.0, so um, something to, to look out for if you're, you've done a Python version update. Um, and of course, Raza 2.0 is now the major branch, um, so we're going to be adding a lot more functionality and bug fixes and um, just really generally improving the product. I hope this gives you a good understanding of the major differences between Raza 1.x and 2.x. Of course, as 2.x continues to be uh, developed and changed, the differences will become greater and greater over time uh, because we'll be adding lots of nice things that people want. If you're interested in learning a lot more about Raza 2.0, we have a webinar recording here that you can watch through. Uh, a lot of different Raza team members contributed to it, and you can hear about many different uh, aspects of the changes and ways that they might affect your work. And we hope that you enjoy using it. If you have any issues, please feel free to file a GitHub issue on our uh, GitHub Raza HQ so that you can get those fixed. All right, thanks so much for joining. I hope you enjoy Raza 2.0 and I'll see you around. Bye.